I feel like my whole life I've had to be scrappy, you know? Patrol agents, a group of unaccompanied minors walked up to us. I uh, was raised by my mom, a uh, single mom, just me and my sister. We grew up on a small cattle ranch and it was just a great way to, to grow up. You know, we didn't have a lot of money. Uh, we were definitely a working class family and there was definitely some challenges, some Christmases that were a little bit leaner than others. I wouldn't trade it for the world because growing up when you don't really know any better, you have such an appreciation for when you reach that point where you can actually breathe a little bit and you look back and you're so grateful for that, that experience that kind of gives you that grit and that edge. I had big plans, but uh, it was April of 2011 that I got a call from my mom. She told me that we lost the ranch. It was pretty awful. Yeah. It was awful. After 9-11, Everything kind of crashed, everything kind of changed, every, you know, the economy took a, a total dive and, um, you know, our family business was no exception. Um, so, you know, we'd been struggling, but uh, it was really after the 08 crash that things got bad. And after that, with no options, nowhere to go, no family to, to go to or turn to, it was, um, an extended stay motel in a really bad part of town um, that we ended up staying in. For me, my fight ever since we lost the ranch has been, I'm taking on big government. That's been my singular focus. As these giant bills are being rammed through with no input and no debate, I have to wonder, well, who's the next cat out there somewhere in America? And how is she gonna find out that what we've been doing up here and by we, I mean the Democrats, not us, we're the ones fighting it. But you know, what are, what's passing here today that is going to forever change another person's life that has, you know, they, they didn't sign up for any of it, you know? And I know, because I have been reading the bills, that there is gonna be another cat out there in America that's just going about their day and living their life. And somehow, some way, some bureaucratic program out of Washington is gonna fundamentally alter their life. My mom, when she was 27, she was pregnant with my sister and she suffered a stroke two days before she was gonna give birth. And she was able to deliver, paralyzed in a way, but she was able to deliver. But the doctors told her right then and there, they're like, you'll never have kids again. So it took her about a year to learn how to walk again. Um, but many years later when she got pregnant with me, she, uh, she was told by the doctors right away, you're not gonna survive this. And my mom, like I said, she is, she is a bad mamma jamma. She, all, all of that, the warnings in the world, she still chose life. It means that every day that I have up here, I have to fight for life. We've been, we've been happily married for four years, been together for six or seven, and no kids yet. Lots of, lots of plans to have kids here shortly, but we do have some unruly Labradors and a whole lot of chickens and some ducks, and um, it makes life fun. He's a firefighter, you know, he's, he's a firefighter, he's a swamp medic, and that's the thing that people don't ever see, is they never see the families of first responders, the, the times where he gets a call at two o'clock in the morning because some crazy person has, you know, barricaded themselves with their families and they're threatening to harm them, or, you know, there's uh, some massive fire and he gets a call out. It's just, no one ever sees that stuff. And when you talk about opportunity that exists in this country, that only exists in this country because of our constitution, because of people who are willing to give up everything, literally write a blank check uh, up into their, including their life, um, that's what makes us special. And that's why we're fighting for it.